so I'm training to be like him so I can be the new one. The new what? The new Speedy AJ. Okay, are you going to try out for the Avengers team? Uh, yeah, and when I grow up, I'm going to be the best Speedy AJ ever. When I and grow up, I'm not When I grow up, I'm going to do the I'll intro with me. Careful, Good. don't hit the, don't hit the thing. <laughs> you do the intro with me. What's an intro? An intro to the YouTube video. Oh, goodbye. Say hi. Uh, Say welcome back. Welcome back. Or welcome to. Or welcome to. Our channel. Our channel. And what are we going to do on this wall today? Um, we're going to draw, we're going to draw some stuff. Some stuff? Anything yeah. specific? Yeah. Mommy's going to do a mural of mountains on this wall. Yeah. Yes, they're going to be big. And it's a person. All right, well, let's get started. Yeah. So I started with the mountains in the foreground. I made these the smallest and the darkest mountains in the range. I kept everything as simple as possible because I was freehanding the mural. Okay, so these are the other extra paints we have to work with. I'm thinking since these are kind of um, blue tones, they'd be good for the sky. And then I just need to figure out which variation of mountains are gonna go next. So it's gonna go from darkest to lightest and then like a sky. I made the second mountain range a little bit larger because I had more of that paint. It's a couple shades lighter than the first one. Unless the Jackson Pollock vibe is what you're going for. I suggest putting a paper towel over the can before you start hammering the lid in or else the paint will just splatter everywhere. I worked on the sky next. I started at the very top and I went about a foot and a half to two feet down. I did keep a couple of areas blank because I knew I was just gonna be painting the third set of mountain ranges over that part anyway. So I wanted to save some blue paint. The wall with the mural does have the fuse box. So I just painted the very outside portion of it the same light blue to hopefully have it blend in. The third and final mountain range is the lightest because prospectively it would be the one furthest away. This one I used a mixture of the light blue paint from the sky and some leftover gray paints. It was very subtle, but I definitely think that it turned out really cute. I feel like I've been working on this playroom for months. It's just an unfinished basement that we're trying to make a space that the boys can come to and play. I really like open-ended toys and things that um, don't require batteries. So let me give you a tour of our playroom at the moment. Okay, so this is the back wall of their playroom. I turned it into a reading area with the mural that I painted today. And then this area over here is the arts and crafts. This piece was given to us um, second hand and then that is from AJ's like first Christmas. This is an unfinished basement so I hung up the drop cloths from Lowe's and I just used little finishing nails. This area over here is all of the boys uh, dress up 
Uh, we got the excuse the mess, but Angelos is making memories when we only had one kid. So I think I need to figure out a way to add, but the boys are making memories or something like that. And then we're gonna strategically ignore everything behind me. And these are their stuffed animals. I wanted to try to keep everything from migrating to the wall. I wanted to kind of create like a space where they can go in and out. And this is their favorite play kitchen. And then this bench my father made me when I was younger. So all their play stuff is for the kitchen is just in there. I think I'm eventually going to sand this down and paint it and maybe just keep my name on there. But um, I haven't decided yet. Their play kitchen is double-sided. They like to play kitchen and cook and they like to pretend they're at a restaurant. So I wanted to keep that off the wall so they could play with that. These little rugs, this one is just from Ikea and I put their rocking horse on there. So inevitably when they fall off, they don't hit the concrete floor, which next project is going to be painting everything up top black and painting the concrete floor. So that's this side. Eventually the boys are gonna have to migrate out of that side. Oh, they're yelling. Sounds like one of them's on top of the other one. So eventually the boys are gonna have to migrate out of that area because Mike wants to turn that into like a game room. So that is how we transformed our unfinished basement into a playroom for these little guys. And I think the mural turned out great. It didn't cost us any money because we just used leftover paint that we had. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>